Hey, I really had a hard time coming up with a topic uh, for the next video. Hopefully all of you had a great Yule, had a productive Yule. Let's face it, this past year, 2020, was a Class A shit show for sure. And it looks like we're still biting it off going into this year. So I thought uh, what I'd do is share with you an experience I had over Yule. And I get some pretty good ones as a rule. Right before Yule, I started thinking about two of my friends that um, I grew up with. I mean, the three of us from grade school, junior high school, and uh, high school, we were thicker than thieves. We were everywhere. And as life had it, when we graduated from high school, the three of us went our separate ways. And during Yule, I thought, well, it would be great if you know I could contact these guys and we can... Yeah, talk about some of the shit we did when we were kids and didn't get caught. And uh, so I started to do that. And the first fellow, <clears throat> I found his obituary. And it really struck me. First, it was the shock that he died in 2004. He was only 52 years old. Now, I'm reading the obit, right? He made quite a name for himself in the banking world in the tri-state area up north. He was a real mover and shaker. I'm sure he had a fat salary and all kinds of other perks. But, you know, I couldn't find anything other than that. Uh, he was survived by a niece and a nephew. No kids, no wife. I couldn't find any civic organizations that he might have been involved in where he could give his time and expertise to the public to make things better for the community. I found that to be a shame. Believe it or not, my second friend I found in his obituary, his own obituary. He died when he was 59. I think he died in 2009 or whatnot. I'm first finding this out now, so I was a bit shocked. And his story was similar. Success, big success. He went the school uh, on a, to a small school in North Carolina on a football scholarship. He stayed down there. Um, he had a business, a really successful uh, business, landscaping and whatnot, making all kinds of money, all kinds of accolades and whatnot. But he was survived by a niece. No kids, no wife. I don't see any other civic activity. And I, I kind of thought, all you guys had, all you had was your was your work life. And your life was your work. Now, I got to tell you, having your life is precious. But to spend it all on your life, take all of your life's energy and, and focus it on your work, I, I don't think that's cool. You should be into your work, without a doubt. And you should be working at something you truly enjoy. Both of these guys were into that. But where was the rest of life for them? Life should be a balanced experience. Where was, where was you were, according from what I see in guys, you weren't married, you had no children. You didn't do anything to give back to the community. 
I, 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 it seems that you know, life was kind of empty because everything went into your work and it, it seems that there was no balance there. Now, when you look at the Havamal, I'm not going to quote verses, but when you read the Havamal, you're going to see about this kind of stuff that this isn't the way life is supposed to be. Life should be balanced. You should have more of just your work. I looked at my own life and I thought, well, I didn't get all them accolades, but I sure as shit did other things in my life. I was married, kids, grandkids, been a overseas, been to South America, and that's not over. Published a few books. There's a whole list of things that I've done other than just working for a living. Now, I bring that part up as an example for the rest of you. You got to have life in balance. Make sure you do that. This year, look and see your life. See where you can improve it. See where you can spend more time with your family, with your kids, and give back something to, to the community. Because that's going to help you. It's going to round out your life. Somewhere along the line, somebody even said, we men live longer if we're married. I don't know why. Supposedly we do. Well, look, I about exhausted my, my time for this, and I hopefully I think you all get what I'm saying. Live a balanced life and a good life. Have that family. Have love in your life, not just your goddamn work. Because when you die, you're not going to have somebody putting a monument up for you because you are a hard worker. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. Subscribe to my channel for the latest updates. And once again, <laughs> Bish Bader Taters. <laughs>